folks, this is Matt Doyle, MLSsoccer.com's armchair analyst, here with another edition of Between the Lines. In 2011, Dom Oduro reminded us of one thing, speed kills. The Chicago Fire striker came out of nowhere to score a dozen goals, and what's more, he led the league in big chances. Those are chances that Opta consider sure things, ones that strikers should finish 90% of the time. Now, Oduro led the league in big chances, but he did not convert them particularly well. He went 7 for 18. This season, he's leading the league again. In 1,000 minutes, he has 11 big chances. He's only converted three of them, but he's averaging one per game. Rookie Darren Maddox, who's played 180 minutes this year, already has six big chances. He's averaging three per game. Every half hour he's on the pitch, he's getting at least one chance that Opta says he should bury. Now Maddox, the number two overall pick in the draft, has not been perfect at finishing them. However, he is burying 50%. Three out of six so far. Not great, but to put it in context, Chris Wondolowski, five out of ten. So he's in pretty good company there. And all signs point to Maddox being a 20-goal scorer, probably not this year, but next year, the year after, until he gets sold for big money to some club in Europe. What makes Maddox so effective at finding these chances is that, like a Duro, he plays a vertical game. Other strikers, notably Eric Hasley, the guy he displaced in Vancouver starting 11, drift either sideways or backwards toward the ball, looking for the ball. Maddox doesn't drift. He rides the offside line and looks for space. He wants to get into the open, and the Vancouver midfield is only too happy to oblige him. With Aduro last season, the big question is, could he keep it up? Obviously, this year he hasn't. He had 12 goals last year, mm -hmm. only three this year. With Maddox, we have a much smaller sample size. But his technique and his college pedigree, he was a huge goal scorer for Akron, suggests that there's more of this to come.